Last episode, we built some kitchen cabinets. Now we're taking them apart. Let me explain why. Drills work better with batteries in them. I have no idea what I'm doing with woodworking. I think the last thing I made was a birdhouse in Cub Scouts. So I'm still learning. First thing I'm gonna do today is fill in some of these holes in the floor because they are causing a lot of drafts. And now that I'm actually living in the bus for a couple days on vacation, I really am noticing these drafts and we gotta, we gotta cover them up. Uh, I think I just need to cut a little bigger cut out over here and we'll be good to go. Uh, there's a clamp that's blocking it. I'm gonna have to cut this a little smaller. All right, third time's the charm. It really is. Sweet, it's not perfect. I need a seal down here and I'm gonna eventually add some insulation underneath it. But that should at least help to keep some of the heat in in the meantime. Okay, let's see if I got this one first try. Under. Boom. And that is sturdy. That way I can stop falling in there. All right, so now that we've got those four pieces in place, it's time to put the top part of these cupboards. It was kind of a happy mistake that we built them too short, like 10 inches too short, um, because that will actually give us a separate platform, one for our cupboards, which can be here, here, and here. This is where the dishwasher is gonna go. So let's get to building those. And now I know, measure twice, check your math three times, and cut once. I decided to make a change, take off this piece since I already have the structural support here, which means I can remove all of these. And this is six inches here, six inches here, which means I'm gonna do a pop-up cabinet. I think it's gonna be awesome. So let's see if we can get these screws out. Oh, it fits perfectly. I mean, that's what happens when you measure something, but still, it's exciting. All right, so I'm working out the best way to get some height added to these. I'm thinking they're currently 27 inches. Average height for a cabinet is 37 to 39 inches. So I'm thinking I'm gonna add three inches to the bottom all the way around for a toe kick. And then I'm gonna add six inches height to make a six inch drawer. Let's go make these cuts.
Oh yeah! Alright, are you ready? Look, kitchen cabinet! What do you think? What do you think of the sink? Wait, what the what? Yeah, so it's got little things, like if we want to wash fruit, we can put them in this basket to rinse them out. And it's got a cutting board. Um, this is for like when we're drying dishes, like if I wash a pan, I can just set this on here and then set the dish on there and dry it. Oh. What do you think? Okay. And it's going to be a little bit taller once it's done, because cool. I'm going to be doing cabinets underneath that I still need to build and a countertop, but that's still at a height that you could wash, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We might also do a stool. <laughs> and then guess what? So up here is going to be where all the plates and stuff are. but. The cabinet is going to have an opening like this at the bottom. So when we're done washing a plate, we can just set it in the cabinet and it'll drip dry into the sink. Wow. <laughs> cool, right? What do you think? Guys. Team Night Thunder? <laughs> Drill doesn't be seven tall, right? That's not <laughs> how it works. Okay, time to drop the legs. It's time to go to bed. Ah! I can't see! Oh good! I got worried I was blind for a second there. Alright, it's been an awesome weekend, but it is time to head home. Got a lot done on the bus, and I feel like I've got the confidence I need to go ahead and do everything else I need to do. So, I'm really excited. Let's head home. Won't it be so nice when we have the kitchen finished and we can just make our own food instead of having to stop for gas station food? Yeah, but I do like gas station food.